in the program, currently we have 29 different project teams um, and over 1,200 students, just over 1,200 students that participate across those 29 teams. And so there is a huge range of the types of activities and also the sizes of the team. So I think our smallest team right now is right around 12 to 15 students. And the biggest team is right around 100. It was just below, just over 100, 100 students over the last year. Um, and I tend to kind of, you know, bin those teams into sort of three different categories. And the first one is our engineering design and build teams. And these are the ones that people are often the most familiar with. They include things like our Cornell Racing Team, um, our Cornell Baja Team, uh, AUV, which builds an underwater autonomous robot, Rocketry, uh, Design Build Fly. There's, there's a whole list of them. But these are the teams that go through a novel design and build cycle each year. And so they design a particular um, product like a race car <laughs> and then they actually go ahead and build it and all of its components and more often than not these teams are testing or validating their design and build by participating in a national or international competition at the end of that cycle. Um, uh, not always but most of those teams that is that is what they're doing and this is particularly interesting to me for a couple of reasons um, but I think the primary one is that it really does mimic the industry experience that a lot of our students might go to, you know, after their time here at Cornell, because they're given a particular challenge, but they're also given parameters that they have to stay within while they try and find the most novel or the most innovative uh, solution to that challenge. Um, so sticking with Cornell Racing as an example, they have, oh, they have many, many pages of specifications that they have to stick to while they are designing and building that race car. So it's being as creative and as innovative as possible within the constraints, you know, that that particular um, competition puts in place. So it's a very, it's a very cool real world kind of experience. And they have um, something that flies or drives or swims <laughs> at the end, at the end of that cycle. Um, the second category that I tend to think of um, is what I call our social impact teams. And these are teams that work directly with a community partner, either local or global. Um, many of these teams are sustainability focused um, and they work with partners on campus in the local Ithaca community, but they also work more broadly with partners um, across the country and several of them even internationally. Um, and these are typically uh, in one to two year cycles. And so they are solving some particular problem for their community partner. And they're doing a sort of, you know, needs finding and then a design um, and, and development or prototyping process within either a one or two year cycle. And this is really cool because usually at the end of that cycle, there is some deliverable that is given to that community partner, either something that is built or something that they actually go and install and implement, um, you know, if that's an app, if it's an irrigation system, if it's a, um, you know, a, a bridge <laughs> in some cases. Um, but they're working directly with, with a partner. Um, I tend to think of those as sort of client relationships, but with a partner who has a particular problem that needs to be solved. And then the third category is our computer science and data science teams. Mm -hmm. And these teams actually, many of them also participate in competitions. Um, several of them also work with campus and community partners. Um, but the thing that sort of unifies them for me is they are teams that are um, solely focused just on the software development side of things. So most of the other teams that I mentioned actually have um, software and programming sub teams on them, but the computer science and data science teams are exclusively focused in that area. Um, they do a lot of app development, a lot of software development, um, gives students a really, you know, you can have a really rich experience in sort of all parts of, of software and app development um, and, uh, and in data science. The other unique thing about that category of teams for me is they also have the strongest emphasis on education. Um, so those um, teams are often uh, teaching or co-teaching um, a number of classes within computer science, hosting workshops, um, hosting programs that will help people learn how to code, learn how to do, you know, product development on the software side of things. And so 
they, those are some of the biggest teams, like the, the teams that are right around 100 participants are typically the comp sci teams, but they're actually impacting many times that number of students per year because of their um, teaching and outreach activities. And so that's kind of the other thing that even though they might have aspects that are similar with, you know, competitions or working with partners to some of the other teams, the, the focus purely on the kind of software side of the house and then their focus on, on education is, is really the thing that sort of unifies them as a group. 